Hi, I'm Bill Hurst of Highland Hill Farm in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. We own many farms and ranches, and the Obama administration is dramatically hurting our farming and ranching operations. So to give you a couple of examples, let me, let me give you an example of something that happened this year. On one of our ranches, we had an allocation of 525 head of cows. Now, the government has cut the allocation down to 275. How can we make money on an operation if we have to cut almost in half the number of cows we have on a property? It just doesn't, doesn't work. Yet the government will offer us incentives to put solar wells in and get rid of our electric driven wells when if we don't have the cows, we don't need the water. So the government is just doing a lot of things that hurt us. That's one example. A second example is this. We rent and we buy and we lease out and also we lease from other people lands that we need for our operations. The federal government under the health care bill will be exacting a 3.9% tax on the real estate transaction, whether it's you buy a property or you lease it out. The lease will count at 3.9 as well as selling a property at 3.9 right off the top. Not whether you make money, it's just whether you, you, you brought in money through a transaction. It's a transaction fee. And that's, that's detrimental to farming because farmers throughout the nation rent ground out between themselves and one another. And, and that's just the way farming is. Farming has a lot of rental activities. And that tax adversely affects farming operations. Next, next item. The massive federal deficits that the Obama administration is running up puts competition on banks and lenders for monies that they're going to lend out. Would, the, would, the federal, would, would a bank lend to me if they could lend to the federal government and get the same rate? No. They would lend to the federal government over us. So the federal government, by virtue of massive deficits, is hurting our ability to find financing for our operations. Thus, we feel that we must cut back to size down in order to be more efficient and be able to weather the storm that this administration is giving to America. And that will mean we'll have less employees and less product under cultivation, which means for the consumer at the very end of the chain, they will have higher prices and not better quality, not more choices. They will just have higher prices. And that is what the Obama administration is doing to us. And the other thing I just want to mention quickly is the more regulation that they put on farms. For example, they're trying to pass a regulation on how much dust you can create and when you can create dust. And the wind flow, when you do create dust, it just it will eliminate the ability of a farmer to harvest his crop. And that in itself is a death keel to farming and agriculture in America. Thank you. We also have a lot of large arborvitas and, and field-grown trees and shrubs here at Highland Hill Farm. And we do specialize in delivery and planting. So give us a call, 215-651-83. These are four-foot emerald greens in pots. Just give us a call at 215-651-8329. These are our Atlas Cedars here at Highland Hill Farm. A real nice blue coloring selection of a tree that will grow fairly large, fairly rapidly. It likes moist, well-drained soils, but can take some clays as long as the clays are not like wet, moist, stagnant clays. Well-drained clay will be fine. It's fast growing. It's been, been noted to be 80 feet by about 25 foot wide. It's a beautiful tree, one you wouldn't want to be without. Next to it right here is our Acker Grissom paperbark maple. And then over here we have a bunch of red maples. These are Japanese red maple blood goods. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. We're here at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 and Fountain.